Good day, everybody. I hope you're fine. To the between question three, VPM. Vertical project and motion, May 2023. Question three. So now it says, ball A is dropped from rest. So now I want you to underline this word, dropped. When it's saying dropped, it means what is the initial velocity of that certain object. Or let me just say ball A, since it is now ball A. The initial velocity is what? Zero meters per second. Because when something is dropped, it was not moved or shifted with a certain velocity. It was just dropped. You see? Now, from rest of the top of a building, which is here. So it means to go to this block, this object, this pole, it was here. Ne? And then it was just dropped in J. It was not taken upward and then go down. No, it was just dropped. So when they say dropped, know that the final velocity, the, the initial velocity of that certain block is what? Zero meters per second. And then after pole A has fallen 3,2 meters, as you can see here, a second ball B is projected vertically upward so now you have to check this when they are saying projected they are saying it was taken upward with a certain velocity that we don't know you see projected vertically upwards so it was taken upwards with a certain velocity with a with a certain initial velocity from the ground after a while the two balls strike the ground at the same time you see they even uh, wrote it in bold so it means to go to this ball ball b ne? it went up ne? and at a certain point it did what it went back down because they said the two balls strike the ground at the same time so it means to go to ball b came back to the ground so it went up and went back down right check the difference ne? you must read the statement is very very important right so now check now we are going to start the show. Now, what is the first question saying? The first question is saying, define the term free fall. Free fall is the motion of an object under which the only force acting is the what? The force of gravity. So, 3.1. The motion is very important because people are confused between the projectile of an object under which the only force acting is the force of gravity. Yeah? Now check the second question now. The time taken for ball A to strike the ground so now please the time taken for pull a to move here and pass this point and just do what strike the ground so now you're gonna check your things now you have to check your things nicely so so it is what three comma two so you know Mar you are, are sorted with acceleration right this negative nine comma eight and then the time is the what is the one that they want let me put a question mark. And then what about your VI? I know that my VI is what? Zero meters per second because it was dropped. And then what about my uh, distance? We have it. So now, since I have this ones and I don't have the, what you call, I don't have the time. I don't have the final velocity. I'm simply going to use this formula. Delta Y is equal to VI delta T plus half a delta t squared right so now where this a uh, y you're simply gonna put what this 15 comma 2 because it, a it is above the ground so do what minus 15 comma 2 is cost what the the initial velocity it was zero i told you plus what half negative 9 comma 8 right and then what is what is my time is the one that they want negative delta t squared so zero times t it is zero and then minus nine comma eight times half it is what minus four comma nine then what delta t squared negative fifteen comma two now since our, i want the time it's gonna be what 
divide both sides by negative 4, comma 9. Divide by negative 4, comma 9. So now, when it is like this, you know that a negative over a negative is a positive, right? So now let me make this one to the, uh, the subject. Because even this side, they are going to cancel each other. So I'll just say, uh, say what? Delta T squared is equal to what? 15, comma 2 over 4, comma 9. Now remember, this one is now squared, so I'll do what? Find the square root. So delta t is equal to the square root of what? 15, comma 2 over 4, comma 9. The reason I'm doing this, I'm doing this, it is because if you punch this one, I calculate, you get many numbers and then you end up making a mistake. So it's better if you punch it this way. And then my delta t, it is going to be equals to, let us take out our calculate. Square root of what? 15, comma 2. Over what? Uh, 4, oh, comma 9. Then what you get? 1, comma 7, 6, 1, 2, 6. So, I will simply say 1, comma 7, 6 meters per second. See? This is my answer. Just have to be careful. As long as you know which variables you are going to use, you are going to be sorted. So, now let's go to the second question. What does it say? The, mag the one, the magnitude of the velocity with which P was projected from the ground so basically they want what the fair the initial velocity of p right now let's go so now as you can see we don't have much information about p because you, we, they want the, the what they want the initial velocity i don't even know the what the final velocity do you have the time i don't have the time you see so now I can let me use the properties of what of pole A so that I can now do my things, guys. So do what um three comma two comma two. So now I will just simply say pole A because pole A has more properties because they are gonna meet at a certain point, right? So now check um it's gonna be what it's gonna be same formula delta y is equal to v i delta t plus half. A delta t squared right and then where there's my delta y i'm gonna use pole a so i'm gonna put what this 3 comma 2 here remember for me to use that 15 comma 2 because they said to, to, to do what to strike the ground so that's why i use this what 15 comma 2 because 15 comma 2 it is from here up to there so now let's go shit um I'm gonna put it negative three comma two is equals to what was my vi zero I told you plus what one comma two and then what is please where there is time ne? don't use the one that you got there because that one was for us like from here from there up to the ground but now we are just doing it until here because what did they do when the ball has fallen three comma two ne? A second ball was projected upwards, so not no, now that's why I'm using this height because when this one when ball A was at three comma two, ball B was projected upwards. So you have to be, be careful there. Now let's go. This thing. So where there's my A, I put what obvious my nine comma eight right minus nine comma eight. Where there's my T T squared doesn't change now what do i have here i'll have my minus 44 comma 9 delta t squared negative 3 comma 2 right and then let me do what divide both sides by negative 4 comma 9 cancel 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 so now i'll know that i have what um till delta t squared is equals to 3 comma 2 over 4 comma 9 remember don't simplify don't simplify because you don't know like you, you are gonna get decimals and then you're gonna be stuck. Now you're gonna do what find the square root. It's gonna be what? 3 comma 2 over 4 comma 9. Right? Then delta t is equals to 0 comma 8081. But now this is not the time because check. This time it is from here up to here. So for us to get the total time of ball B, like you can find out the time of ball B. Now you have to do what? Subtract the time it took from here to the ground with the time that you got here. So I can simply say delta T B is equal to what? 1,176 minus 
eight one. Well, right? So it can be, what will be my answer? Zero comma nine five seconds. Right? So now let's continue. Let me check on my calculator. One comma ones. One comma one seven six. What did I get? One comma one seven six, right? Or well, one comma seven three, one comma seven six. Minus zero comma zero eight. Zero comma eight zero eight one. 0, 0,9519. Okay, let me just write it. 0, 0,5. 0, 0,9519 seconds. Right? But you're not done. Now you go, we have to what? Find what? The initial velocity. So now I can use my formula VI is equals to VF. And then what? Wait, before I start. Remember, I got 0, 0,9519 seconds, right? So, I'll have to divide that time by 2. Yes. You know why? Because I used the different time. So, but you know, most, because check. That time that I got, ne, it was for, for what? For, for, for time for B. I got it from here. Up to that point. So now I'll have to do what? Divide it by 2. I don't want to waste much time. Because now you know these things. So let learn. I can simply say. And continue and say delta. Uh, T. Ne, is equals to what? 0, 0,95. 9, 5. Over 2. And I'll get what? 0, 0,47. Right? So now. Um, let, let, let us continue. It's going to be VF minus A delta T. Where is VI? Where is VF I'm going to put what now? I have to put what? A. VF. Yeah, ne? VI is equal to VF. What's wrong with me? VF is equal to VI plus A delta T. Where is VF? I put 0. Is equals to what? My VI is the one that I want, right? And then what is my A? Negative 9,8. Then my T, I get 0, 0,47. Um, let me take this one to the other side. So what is what? 9,8 times 0, 0,47. What, is, what did I get? 4,606. Yeah? So I'm going to take it to the other side. It's going to be what? 4,6. Six zero six because a negative times a positive is a negative. So when I take it to the other side, it's gonna be what a negative, a positive answer is equals to what vi. So I can simply say my vi is equals to four comma six one meters per second, right? Yes, but what I can advise you on it is just to like put your answer as it is because now you won't know these things because you're dealing with the seconds now. Yes, so I feel like I can just let me just fix my um, whatever that I did there. So I, for now, I can say V I is equals to four comma six. So when you can just everything is fine. Eh? Just that I feel like you must just write if you get your answers five comma what 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 what. Just write it as, as it is, because you might not know what the memo says. Eh? But yeah, everything is fine. So thank you guys. So, hey, don't forget to subscribe. Let's continue. 3,3, 3.3. What do they want? Um, on the same system of axis, draw position time graph to, to show the motions of ball A and ball B. From instant, ball A is dropped until the time it reaches the ground. Take the ground as the zero position. Label A and B clearly indicate the, the following. So we must show the starting for each ball, the initial position of each ball, the time when the ball strikes the ground. So now, the position time graph is something like this. This is my what? My zero. This is my what? My my position. Or I can just write my position, which is the height. Ne? This is the, what? The time, which is measured in seconds. So now, I want you to be, be careful. Ne? Because you're told, Uti, we have to put what the starting position for each ball. So now, check. Ball A initially started from what um fifteen comma two above above the the ground. So now I'm simply gonna say right right what fifteen comma two here. 
ne yeah? and then ball a started going it was dropped so it went down like this simply down like this so i can now write a here and then it arrived after 1.76 seconds the one that you found there but now for ball b you see the starting time it is that uh, this one so now for ball b now remember ball b went up and down as i told you so it is going to be something like this let me do it like this mm. or they must join here because they said they arrived at the same time so you can put it like that and then what what my 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 initial time is it was um 0.8 zero eight one just like that you see because both we went up and down then this one simply went uh, down like that okay so now thank you guys i love um the pt graph because you clearly draw what happened in the motion and everything so yeah thank you guys that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed so yeah